The Niger State High Court has ordered the arrest and imprisonment of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya, and Commander Major General Stevenson Olabanji for contempt of court. This comes some hours after a federal high court in Abuja issued a similar order sentencing the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to three months in prison. Chenami Bami reports. The arrest of the Chief of Army Staff was issued on the 28th of November, following non-compliance with a restraining order over a land dispute between the Army and Adamu Makama and 43 others. Following the disobedience of a standing court order, the counsel to the plaintiff, Pierre Garba, filed an affidavit which was not countered by the defendant, which necessitated the need for the ruling. The Chief Judge of Niger State Justice Alima Abdul Malik, who gave the ruling, directed that the two accused persons be remanded in custody until the purge themselves of the court contempt. It's a proceeding and it's good for rule of law uh, because it just signifies that nobody is above the law. Once you are found being contempt of court, the court is inherently empowered to cite whoever it is for contempt. And I must commend the Honorable Chief Judge of Niger State, Honorable Justice Salima Ibrahim Malik, for being courageous and do the needful. The ruling of the Niger State High Court comes from hours after a federal high court in Abuja issued a similar order on Tuesday, sentencing the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to three months in prison for contempt of court. The court verdict ordering that the police boss be jailed followed the suit that was filed by dismissed police officer Patrick Okoli, that he was unlawfully and compulsorily retired from the Nigerian police force in 1993. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdrashid Bawa, was also recently sentenced by a court for contempt. These recent instances paint a picture of officers in the executive arm and their tendency to disobey the rule of law. Well, generally, in one aspect, like I said earlier, it's a good signal for rule of law from the part of the judiciary to be courageous, to do the needful. But again, on the other side, it's sad for the personalities involved that you mentioned now to be found, to be cited for content. They are officers and they are supposed to be enforcers of law. So at no particular time they should be found wanting or to be cited for, for content. So it's sad. The case between Adamo Makama and the Chief of Army Staff was adjourned to 8th December. Chenamibami, TVC News, Mina.